I wasn't smart or pretty and did not know any skill, so my two sons and I almost starved when my husband left home 16 years ago. We don't know where he went. I thatched roofs, became a coolie, but still we did not have enough to eat. I went to neighbors to ask for rice. Asking for clothes was so shameful. I wasn't smart or pretty and neither could I read or write. I ask for one day's happiness, no, even a moment's happiness. Mumu ruts coconut husk in water. I am illiterate. I have to do this job day and night or we will starve. There is nobody else at home to help me. My sons go to school but I can't go to these classes. I am insulted because I am illiterate, but that can't be changed. A woman went from her mother's house to husband's house to hospital and back. So how could I learn anything? I have grown up a fool. Where are you studying? School. 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 And don't you go to school? This is Kerala, showing the same anguish of the illiterate to which we have grown accustomed in other states. Yet, Kerala has been ranked number one in literacy in the country in the last census and indeed, the state declared itself totally literate on 18th April 91. So, are we wrong or is the declaration of total literacy premature? Where is the evidence of total literacy? For an answer, Ponamma directed us to a police station a few kilometers away. A determined crowd was just entering the police station to meet the superintendent of police. He met them in his room and explained how the police station functions. <laughs> This is the FIR book. The first information is recorded in this book. And it's on the basis of this report that we investigate all matters. All this is okay, but there are complaints that the police take bribes and let the real culprit go free. No. Whatever you may say, people will believe that you do take bribes. In every profession, somebody or the other takes bribes. But why does the police beat children? Because children try to do everything through the back door. <laughs> when children sleep on roads, why do you beat them? Aren't they there because they're homeless? Why don't you take them to an orphanage? No, we don't beat them up. I can show you hundreds of cases where we don't beat them up, but take them to other police stations. You do beat them up. We have seen it. As mothers, we cannot tolerate this. Is it proper to arrest a woman without women police? There's no law that women offenders should only be arrested by women police. They can be arrested by any police officer. And what about the night? There is no distinction between day and night for arresting women anywhere in India. If a man is not content with 5,000 rupees given to him as dowry and beats up the woman, where can she file a complaint? There's no point bringing the police into this. It's a matter for the society or politicians to resolve. But you did not answer my question. Where can she file a complaint? Well, she can file it right here at the police station. We haven't seen women police. Can you ask them to come in? Here they are, the Vanita police. 
by all standards, this is an amazingly frank exchange between the police and those who are traditionally supposed to be in awe of the police. This is not all. In the same district on the same day, we found Ponnamma and about 200 villagers from poorer sections of society and some youth interrogating block officials. You give subsidy for latrines for SCST. What about latrines for others? Who is supposed to benefit from trees on Panchayat land? What is the Gram Sevak supposed to do? Why do people go mad? There are two reasons for going mad. Either it is hereditary or people suffer brain damage. But even medical science does not know the precise reason. How can we get seed and fertilizer? The Krishi Bhavan gives seed and fertilizer. The Gram Sevak tells everybody about the arrivals. On what basis do you fix house tax? 10% of the house rent is fixed as tax. The street lights in my panchayat are very dim. Why is nothing being done about that? What steps can you take? If it's possible, we'll do something. But voltage fluctuations are not in my control. How can one get income and caste certificates for IRDP without paying bribe? No fee is supposed to be charged for income and caste certificates. And finally, Purnamma asks a question. We get only kerosene oil and candles for our class. Why not electricity? Officials could not answer. So Purnamma walks up to them demanding a clear answer. As a component of the total literacy campaign, other groups of villagers who were earlier illiterate are visiting post offices, panchayat office, even nearby airports to understand how this infrastructure works. These fabulous ruins were once the monopoly of the tourist or the rich, but today groups of villagers are making their first hesitant contact with their own history. Clearly, a new wave of information and awareness is saturating the pores of society in Kerala as if a high tide of literacy is touching all dimensions and sections of the population. Information which was accessible to the few has now become common property through the state's total literacy campaign, Akshara Keralam. This quiet revolution has occurred in Kerala in the last two years since 1989 when district Arnakulam declared war on illiteracy and today, as you watch this program, the last of the illiterates in the whole state of Kerala, in the ages 6 to 60 years, has learned to read and write. Is literacy really 100% in Kerala today? Will the newly literate retain their new knowledge? Why was it necessary to make everybody literate in a short span of one year? We will return to these questions. But first, what is the key element of this program? The answer lies in the sands on the Kerala beach at night. As we shot these scenes, the sea roared and there was thunder and lightning. But unmindful groups of learners and teachers were lost in work and exchange of ideas. These are fishermen who set out to sea at 2 in the morning and return at about 2 in the afternoon. Most of them rejected the idea of attending class, saying they were too tired. But persistent motivation by volunteers and workers persuaded a few and then others came. 
In fact, now if they are setting sail for a few weeks, they take the teacher along to sea. Coir workers are mostly women who did not study because of both the demands of their work and social restrictions on women leaving home to go to class. So, most of the lakhs of women remained illiterate and did not upgrade their skill. The gulf between them and literate sections of Kerala kept widening. But in the last year, since Kerala's total literacy campaign, Akshara Keralam, was launched, the workers have established a rule that the day's work will only begin after the literacy class each morning. Every student of the literacy class has to study three basic books which have lessons on work and livelihood, the evolution of humans, arithmetic, where each person's place is in society, how to use facilities such as the post office, basic scientific facts, the Suryan, Budan, Shukran, Chowa. Classes are held in any spot convenient for learners and instructors. The teaching connects the lessons to everyday life, such as the word para in the first lesson. Para means rock. While teaching rock, we are not teaching only the letters. More than the letters, we are giving some ideas. Ideas about exploitation, ideas about uh, labor, the dignity of labor, ideas about uh, uh, the hard working, the problems of hard working people, their settlement, their poverty, everything. And we are inspiring them. Uh, for a social change. The learners, they are, uh, we are giving them the real picture. About two lakh such classes have operated seven days a week throughout 1990 and most have just concluded in March 91. Were the learners tested or evaluated before being declared literate? We witnessed an evaluation in a small village. Each learner filled three evaluation papers to prove if they could write five words per minute and read up to 30 words per minute with comprehension. These evaluation papers were filled seriously with a little help from the instructors. The results were summarized in a register at the sub-project office and this information was forwarded to Thiruvananthapuram. The results were also being assessed by an independent committee for an award to the best panchayat. Every class had its own problems of social acceptance or management, such as this class here in a remote hilly village in Malapuram district. I had to make a lot of effort and noise to bring these women to class. They said, what is the use? Our men will not give us permission, and we don't want to know anything because we don't leave home. I said, will poverty remove poverty? You must learn something. I have studied a bit, so I knew the advantages of literacy. Ithiyamma is a self-appointed convener of the Literacy Sakshata class and part of the People's Committee to monitor progress. She helped the organizers, the KSS, to find local women instructors and to identify space for the class. Across the entire state of Kerala, we witnessed this spirit of involvement of people of all shades of society to help the illiterate overcome problems such as problems faced by women of some communities. Quran was the first sentence was Ikra, that means you read. Based on that, we approached the religious leaders, especially the Muslim well-known uh, leader. We sent circulars to all the Muslim leaders in the mosques. And also I personally with my colleagues in the literacy center, I went, went to all the places and approached the imams and they used to talk in, about the importance of literacy in the uh, Friday 
prayer after the friday prayer and there was a such an atmosphere throughout the district especially in the muslim locality that it is a part and parcel of their duty to learn things in remote tribal districts such as wayanad the level of literacy was well below the average for kerala here as in several other districts the collector and the district authorities provided extra infrastructural support to establish a network of classes and to ignite the spark of learning in each mind as kerala becomes totally literate we realize that more than 18 lakh persons have actually learned to read and write only in the last 12 months most of them in the age group 6 to 60 years how does it feel to be literate now i can travel long distances for work and return home safely because i can read the sign boards i can also read government forms and hospital papers and even if i don't eat but i must wash my sari with soap my sons and i study in the evening and we talk about how man has reached the moon and the children ask me to think there's a little fragrance in my life I can stand here and face you and your camera confidence and dignity this is what i have got people laughed at me you old man why are you going to study i didn't care five of my six children also go with me i got 90% marks loga vivaram needa loga vivaram needa perudam vaikam loga vivaram needa lakshmi amma how old are you please karare why i am 98 but i don't disclose my age to everybody only selectively i never went to school because i had to look after four brothers and sisters i'm now very happy to come to class and hear all the lessons and to see others learn i want to learn but my eyes are no good my parents didn't care about me i suffered terrible insults i joined the class because i want to go to the gulf and for that i need to fill forms and write letters i have learned to read not the newspaper but a simple book how do i feel with this knowledge how would you feel if you could suddenly read letters from your children i am the ward councillor earlier if anything was wrong in the ward nobody complained to me now the villagers surround me and complain about the hospital that wells have not been chlorinated that buses don't run on time that i should get funds for pipe drinking water it's really a change learners and their families are coming together in weekly sessions for frank discussions why are women beaten by husbands why is domestic work not regarded as work why are girls pulled out of school first this extraordinary awareness has been created by kerala's total literacy campaign which is implemented by a multi-layered organization the kss kerala sakshata samiti which is a registered society formed jointly by government and people's voluntary agencies the state coordination unit is located in tiruvananthapuram which is the nerve center for monitoring progress the state unit helps the district coordination centers which are linked to project and sub project offices at the panchayat level but it is actually the people's committees which monitor the progress all the way from the ward to the district level is this program expensive this is probably the cheapest program we have been spending all through for the government funds probably about 20 rupees around that only per person to make one literate over a period of 7 uh, 8 months the rest of the money has come from the voluntary pools the unproductive pools which was lying idle 
we have got, we have organized them in fact that is something very unique in this program one of the most important reasons for the success of this project is that all the teaching and training has been done by volunteers and resource persons free volunteers are men and women of the community both the young and elderly why have they given their time free i can um, uh, see many uh, people uh, from many other localities and their uh, life is, uh, is different from me the classes have stopped now and i miss them it is much better to teach than to be idle it was a good opportunity to leave home to go somewhere I don't think it's a waste of time. I'm building up a good reputation in the community. That's important to me. Also, I'm unemployed. My personality has uh, itself has uh, developed because I was able to uh, meet people of uh, different sections of the society and I can have a rapport with them and that itself uh, have uh, favored me to become a right teacher and to develop my own speaking capacity itself. I do not like to uh, earn more money. I am uh, fully satisfied with what uh, salary I get now. Sometimes I uh, spend uh, money from my own pocket for this purpose. It is my uh, social commitment and my responsibility uh, to do uh, something good uh, for the poor people. I don't have a job. My brother supports me. I give all my time to this sakshatta work. By meeting different people, I have learned so much. this will give me confidence to get a job kadramma is perhaps the oldest instructor in the program initially her daughter was an instructor but she got married and the class was bound up kadramma who is literate herself thought that that was most unfair and she assumed responsibility for her daughter's class we understand that kadrama does not miss one day's teaching and that she is strict about her students attendance too the instructors and others joined the total literacy drive because a high profile campaign all over the state first aroused curiosity then unprecedented enthusiasm and commitment in society to make everybody literate and then caused the illiterate to demand literacy powerful kala jatha folk dramas motivated the illiterate to learn and the literate to teach and wondrous magic shows
here illiteracy is burnt. And the ashes turn into the free bird of literacy. Ordinary citizens donated money for spectacles. Little children taught the old. And the young and old took an oath to eradicate illiteracy. And the miracle began in March and April 91 as one after another, each district in Kerala started declaring itself fully literate. At elaborate functions, the newly neoliterate were honoured publicly. On 11th April, we were present at Wayanad district when the district turned totally literate. Women joined the collector and local persons to declare total literacy. Dancers and processionists from small villages poured into Calpetta and the ecstatic crowd swelled to thousands. So, Kerala is totally literate today. But in this euphoria,